Welcome to the world of the singing show. We gon' make you sing and it takes for the rest. From the Pomerola River to the East Coast, from East to the East, from Troy to Georgetown City. I can win you what I want to the hinterlands from the coming. Welcome to the world of the singing show. Hi there, guys. Today, guess what we're going to be doing? We're going to do something kind of nice and exciting. No, change it up a little bit. Uh, this is chicken that I've marinated in cars, right? And we basically, our dish of today is cars rib chicken with stir fry vegetables and a coconut rice. For the rice, we're going to be using partly, but well, like a cup of brown and a couple of parboiled rice. Oh. And then we've got the you know coconut milk for the for the rice. We've got here for for store vegetables. We're going to do broccoli, okra, uh, cabbage, carrots, bora, and we have we're going to be using these are white onions. Uh, and then this is garlic there, and we've got lovely ginger, and we've got uh, our. Or peppers there, the sweet peppers. So let's get this whole thing rocking. Uh, I think I'm gonna need some oil. Let's get some oil first. We'll put our stove on. There we go. This is our lovely wok. What I'm gonna do is let that heat up. I throw the rice in. Boom. All done. Or we can just leave that and let that cook. We're going to get some oil now. Good coconut oil. Nothing more gynies. Right. Let's get that smoke in. Right. We're going to julienne our, car our carrots. Which just means you just... That is no, it's nothing really that fancy about it. Remember, this is a stir fry, so you don't really want to be too fancy, right? There it is, it's done. We're going to throw our onions, looks like our pot's ready. So the onion's going to go in first. You see all those big chunks of onion? That's what we want. I don't know if I can use all of it. Put in the bora. Garlic. I can use about half of these. That's like a quarter cup of ginger. Put in your sweet peppers. This is very, very quick. And I'm going to show you a little trick. The Chinese, I noticed that when I was in Hong Kong, they just they don't cut up the cabbage. They do this, they rip it. And that's how you get these really nice big chunk, chunks. And actually, it does make a difference on the flavor. It actually tastes different. It's, it's very strange, but that's how they do it. Look at that. All these stir fries, they do like this. Let me just turn that around a little bit before this pan. Everything just burns on the thing. Yes, look, that's looking really nice there. Lovely. Lovely, okay. Let's throw in the rest of the things, man. That's the okra. These are these heads of, of broccoli. This one looks a little bit too big for me. Right. You put in the weary pepper. And honey. Oh, yes. This is looking really good. Very, very exciting. So we, we have here some uh, Chinese allspice. I'm just going to use like half of that because I, I like the color of this. And I'm going to put in a couple of pinches of black pepper, large pinches. And I reckon about two tablespoons of this Chinese sauce. It's really nice stuff. It's made by Chi. It's really nice stuff. You know, I'm all, all in favor for using things like this because when you come home and you, you got to cook every day and everything like that, you don't want to be messing around too much. So, and if you can get instant flavor from some of these things, I think all the more, more power to you. Just use them. Right. 
That's basically our vegetables done. Stir fry vegetables. Now it's time for us to cook our chicken. We'll leave that aside. The rice is still cooking. Let's cook our chicken. Get a pan there. We got some oil there. What is here? Just cover the surface a little bit. Great. It's, it's really easy. You put a chicken in there now. Don't worry, it's going to heat up. These are chicken breasts, by the way, that I just cut long ways. I don't use up all the cards, right? Because I kind of just want it to marinate it. I don't want it to be overpower, so overpowering. And then I'm going to use the rest of the ginger with the chicken. And that's basically it. So put a little bit of soy sauce on, on top of the chicken. And you put a little bit of soy sauce on top of the vegetables. And that's it, basically. Your chicken and your vegetables. That's going to be ready. It'll take about... I reckon it's gonna take about four minutes and that will be ready. And then all we gotta do is just wait for our rice to be finished and that should be ready in about 10 minutes. Now that the rice is getting going now, because remember this is coconut rice, I'm gonna add the salt. It's about a teaspoon there and all the coconut milk. And I'm gonna leave the cover off because I want the water to actually boil out, right? I want the water to reduce. So that's why we do this. Let me just turn this on full so we can get that going. Karibi rice from the lush rice fields of Guyana, straight to your home. Royal Chicken, great value and so tasty and delicious. Available at your local supermarket. At Chief, we put more in so you'll get more out of your cooking. Whether it's succulent baked fish or chicken, yummy pizza or creamy pasta, flavorful chow mein or tasty veggie dishes. The chief reason is always taste. Welcome guys. We're here at Bono Market, and this is a typical stall. The name of this stall is Barrett's Fresh Vegetables Wholesale and Retail. But look at the array of the, of the fruits and the, you know, things like, if this, you see pineapple there, the smell there is unbelievable. It's just unbelievable, right? Best in the world, best pineapple. Pineapple is the best in the world in this country. We've got pumpkins there, look at the, all the different sizes there. Look at this papa. And look at all these lovely, all these lovely um, bananas. That's like a very large grapefruit. You eat it exactly the same way. You got limes, mangoes over there. And look over here. You could just follow me here. Oh, look at this arrangement of, of avocados, all this pear. Right? And you got more fruit over here with the apples, cher cherries, weary, weary pepper, sour sap over there. All right? So come over here, let's show them the, the, the vegetables. I love the way they hang these um, papa like that. See, it's a whole bucket full of weary, weary pepper there. Very hot, very, very hot. But people cook with them here. And that's, these are the sweeter ones there. Look, you even get grapes here, carrots. And look at that array of stuff there. This is karaila. And karaila is a bitter vegetable. I used to hate this thing when I was younger. But it's really, really good for your blood. It's really, this is karaila. I used to hate this when I was younger, but now I crave it. It's really, really good for you. It's, you know, very, very good for your blood. And this, you can see the okras over there. And this is our beans. Can I hold up one of these? Yes. Yeah. What? What? This is what we call bora, right? And a lot of guys know about them. 
just one, just one for right now. But you see, now this is very delicious. It's like it's like a like a like a string bean. And here, this is the Guyanese spinach, kalalu. Right, Guyanese know about this, but this is for anybody who does not. Of course, that's aubergines or balanje, as we call it. This is broadleaf thyme, which people use here a lot. But it's actually a type of sage, believe it or not. It's really, really delicious. And you got pak choy. We got, this is Guyanese basil. We call it married man pork. And don't ask me why they call it that, but I think it's something rude. But, <laughs> but that's very good. It tastes just like basil, just a little bit stronger and more earthy. And this is, our, this is what we use as celery. We don't, the, 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 the sticks, you know, like you get in other places. This is how we grow our celery, and we use the leaves and everything. And of course, this is scallion, right? These are, look at these wonderful passion fruits there. I love the way they hang up the fruit here like this. So let's go over and um, have an interview with the owner of this stall. We're here with Anil. Yeah. Right. Um, this is, um, uh, what's the name of this, this stall? Ba Barrett. Yeah, Barrett. It's my cousin's stall, but I, when he's not around, I just the one who does like look at, so you know. Oh, right. He's be the second in charge. His wife is there. She's His a, wife is yeah. over there. Yeah. All right. Workers and stuff. And how, how early do you guys, are you, do you ever shut down this stall or is it? It's not really closed, like literally closed. It's it's open, the guys open like 4.30. Uh -huh. 4.30 and it closed around like 9. Yeah. It's just some polling, they black and wrong with it. Yeah. So you know, you don't pack up nothing, it's just the polling come wrong. Yeah. So it's a good service, as the guy says. People like the service. The what, what I noticed that a lot of the, the stalls in Border Market, they actually open up, look like they open up 24 hours, some of them. You come out here really, really late at night sometimes and they're still out here. Well, I, it's a lot. Well, I, to be honest, I really don't go around the road. I don't get time for that now. Yeah. But we, we here have a service where anybody can come anytime and go hear anything. You yeah. can come, the guys close, you call, you get orders, whatever. You can come and you can get stuff here. And this is like a one stop, a one shop, one stop yeah, shop. Yeah, well, well, you can see we have we have Everything. a lot. Of, yeah, we have we have we have up to the, the vegetables, we have the fruits, we have the provision. You know, we have the groceries. You might have we water have the, over there. The, the beverages. We, we have so many things here. Wow. You know, everything for the kitchen. You cook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vegetables. Yeah. tablets. Very, very good. Yeah, yeah we're very impressed. It's a large array of fruits. Does it take you a long time to put all this stuff out? To lay, because the arrangement is so intricate, you know? Yeah, it's, it's, it's very time, nice. It takes technique, it takes, you know, you skills. Keep, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Then you have to grade all the bad stuff, make sure you put fresh stuff okay. on the stand that the customer don't complain. Right. You know? Yeah. So when they come, you get a good service. Yeah. And this type of thing helps to just keep you out of the sun, just so you can keep everything Everything cool, cool and, and nice, and nice you don't get wet when the rain comes up. down. And yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes. And it's I'll good for now. Where's your plant came from? Well, this, this, this plant, they go from Canal. Oh, from Canal, all right. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, because I, uh, we still... I know the uh, Pomeroon planting. Yeah, well, we have we have your own farm too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my cousin plants your own farm. He got a farm at uh, number two. Yeah. Mr. Barat. Right. So we get some. Sometimes we get most of the thing we get from there. What we don't get from there, we buy from other who will seal and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Well, thank you very much cool, in your nice time for in. letting us see your stall. Cool, cool. This okay. is a typical yeah. Guyanese uh, Guyanese fruit stall with you can see one stop shop. And they're fantastic. And I'm telling you, the smell here is unbelievable. The fruit is so strong. It's like, it's just gorgeous. I love it. The Anna Kane is more than just furniture. It's a way of doing business that is holistic. A model that promotes and practices concepts of sustainability as they relate to people and the environment. Leanna Kane has won many international awards and accolades, not just for its stunning designs and architectural pieces, but also for its commitment to combat the destruction of our forest ecosystems. Leanna Kane has opened a new showroom situated at 49 Aubrey Barker Road, South Rhineville, Georgetown. For further information or you would like a brochure to be emailed to you, Call Andrea on 680-8248 or Compton on 660-5484 or email liana underscore kane at yahoo.com. Good for the planet and good for people.
Vanilla flavored cake flour made with vanilla extract is just more than flour. You must try it the next time you're baking cake. The Arawak village of Wakapo is located in the Pomeroon Supernan region of Guyana. Wakapo's oral traditions include stories of magical times during which mythical creatures such as giant macaws help to guard access to the traditional homelands. Stories that continue to be passed on between community storytellers and to the community as a whole. The two-day, one-night Wakapo community tour attempts to reveal these ancient heritage and customs to guests, from boat building to making traditional cassava bread with a local expert, to visiting sacred cultural sites where origin stories are shared. The tour also gives guests a chance to experience traditional foods, as well as allow guests to immerse themselves in the natural surroundings the region has to offer. So for further information on this magical journey, please call 695-9065. Welcome back to the Singing Chef Show. Right, today we're doing cast rib chicken with stir-fried vegetables and coconut rice. Now we're gonna, con the rice is finished, so we're gonna just combine those two. So all I'm gonna do is just heat this up. Just turn on this stove here. Uh, very good, very, very good. We put a wok on there. Wok, wok, that's like what Guyanese call work, wok. Walk. <laughs> ah, yes. Do the walk, boy. Right. Just gonna fold that in a little bit. And there you got nice chicken and vegetables. Right, we just let that heat up for a little bit. Now, I wanna talk to you guys a little bit about rice, okay? Now, Caribbean makes a really nice brown rice. Really nice, actually. And I personally think that you got parboiled rice, there's lots of different types of rices, and you got brown rice. And brown rice actually has got more nutrients, right? It's got more nutrients in it. But the parboiled rice has got plenty of nutrients in it because they actually put it in. That's why they parboiled it with the nutrients. And if you put them both together, basically you have something very, very healthy something that tastes as light as the white rice, and it tastes really, really delicious. And we just basically cooked it in coconut milk, but it's very, very good for you. And the thing is, is that not a lot of people in Ghana actually um, eat brown rice, but there's not, it's, it's like really good. I, I don't know if you remember, you probably might be, back in the day, when I was growing up in Boxton and everything like that, we used to, they used to give you this nice white rice, and you used to sit there and spread it out, and everybody used to pick. You remember picking rice? I mean, you don't do that anymore. You just get it straight out of the package, right? Now, that rice was field rice. That rice was so good for you. That had all the goodness of white and brown in it. That's why you used to have to pick out the husk because, you know, they, it wasn't so refined, right? So I would encourage you guys, you can get it from Guyana marketing stores, I think, sell Caribbean brown rice. Try it. Mix it with some, some parboiled rice and you see, see the kind of product that you get. It's very nice. Yes? No, this is looking good. And I am going to serve this up. And I know I was going to actually put a cup of rice on, in the, on the side and then put the vegetables to the side. But I know if I do, I know Guyanese, if I put a little stupid amount of rice on, on this plate, People are going wondering what's wrong with me, right? You don't mess around with Guyanese and rice, you know. Okay, so you just make a better rice like this. And look how all the vegetables are still nice and crispy, right? And I'm just going to put that on the top. And basically, you can see little bits of chicken and everything like that. Don't really need to make it too fancy. And that is a simple, elegant, and really lovely tasting meal for the family. Cas rib chicken, which is marinated in cas rib before we cook it. And then we've got the stir fry vegetables on top. And underneath is coconut brown and white rice, basically. 
Bon appetit. Let's bring, let's bring um, Cyril in here to, um, to uh, let's try it out. This, this is the best job in the show. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> great benefits. <laughs> and? Wow, it looks beautiful. You tell, yeah, yes. Try it, beautiful, try it. Yeah. And the, the, the casserie is very novel idea. It's amazing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's fabulous. It's um, yeah. almost like a pepper pot chicken. Right. And the thing is that in, uh, the thing is, is that you we could only really get this quality cows ripping gun, you know. But the flavor, the flavor is amazing. The flavor is really good with the ginger and everything like that. And the rice. Yeah. Okra. Mm. Delicious. Why you're out in so early in the morning, girl? Drive free ready and them children for school. They can't find their school bags, can't find their shoes. I tell you, my children just make me so vex and cross. Cause they mash up and lost, mash up and lost, they mash up and lost, mash up and lost, they mash up. They make me vex and cross. My children they mash up and lost, mash up and lost, mash up and lost, mash up and lost, say they mash up. That's why I beg and cross. They tell them they gotta be ready for seven. And then me cook big first and me put tape on the table. Me check the uniform, make sure they got their books. And then they care for the school bag and they lost the shoes. And then me have to search round to see where they left it. And get them ready for the school board at the stelling. Children there mash up and lost, mash up and lost, mash up and lost, mash up and lost, mash up. That's why I beg some cross. The children they mash up and lost, mash up and lost, they mash up and lost, mash up and lost, they mash up, they make me vex and cross. I come home dinner time and I walk all day, walk. I get the whole work and I give them time to play. I feel so tired. I started to cry And then the children see mommy And they wondering why That's when the littlest ones say Mommy I know that you sad But you have us So it can be so bad <laughs> Mommy you're mash up a loss You mash up a loss Mash up a loss Mash up and lost, you mash up. That's why you vex and cross. Yes, mommy, you're mash up and lost. You mash up and lost, mash up and lost, mash up and lost, mash up, mash up and lost. Yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. Chief, we put more in so you'll get more out of your cooking. Whether it's succulent baked fish or chicken, yummy pizza or creamy pasta, flavorful chow mein or tasty veggie dishes, the chief reason is always taste. Welcome to the Seven Curry Tour. The sounds, tastes and smells of food tours are inherently experiential and a well-designed culinary experience can also be educational and participatory. Experiencing new food is a highlight of visiting any new destination and also holds memories connected to the past. The new Georgetown 7 Curry Tour is an immersive culinary experience for both visitors as well as local residents that exposes guests to the entire process of preparing 7 Curry. The meal features seven different curries eaten with rice and other accompaniments such as puri and achar. And the fun part is you get to eat it with your hands. The tour consists of 
going to the local water lily area to learn about the origins of Seven Curry and gather your own water lily leaf. Travel to the market to pick up the vegetables and visit the Indie Spice Factory and see the spices being turned into amazing curry powder. See Food Theatre in action. Tony and his family will show you how they make the best puris. And now, to make the seven curry, you'll be taught by the singing chef, Eon John, how to cook the curries in an authentic outside setting and finish the day by eating the delicious curries in the charming gazebo. Come and join us. Vanilla flavored cake flour made with vanilla extract is just more than flour. You must try it the next time you're baking cake. Welcome to the world of the singing show. We're gonna make you sing and you taste for the rest. From the Pomeroon River to the East Coast, my beast in the East.